Patch testing is the gold standard way of detecting allergic contact dermatitis. Patch testing takes about one week for us to perform. You will often come in on a Monday where we place the patches. After 48 hours, we will remove the patches. And after 48 hours after that is when you come back and we take a look and see if any reaction has formed. During this week, you are not allowed to shower or get your back wet, but you are allowed to wash your hair in the sink, sponge off, or take a very shallow bath that does not get your back wet. We also prefer that you do not exercise, which will cause sweating on the back that can often wash away the allergens as well. After Friday's appointment, that is when you are allowed to resume normal activity, including shower. What allergens you will be tested to will depend on your exposure history, your work history, and where your rash is. For example, if your rash is mostly on the head and the neck area, we often wonder about things such as hair products, cosmetic products, and different types of fragrances. I am Heather, I'm the patch nurse. I'm gonna show you a little demonstration on how we prepare for patch testing. Right here is a chamber. There's 10 allergens on each uh, chamber. So I usually just number it, one through 10, and then label which um, allergen tray that we're using. And then these are the allergens. They're usually like an ointment or a cream, and I'll just put a little amount on to each chamber. That's, a, that's about it, and then we'll stick them on the back. Um, sometimes we have liquids that we also put on, and I usually put that on right before I'm about to put it on your back. Some patients bring in uh, products from home, and sometimes I have to um, put those also on the trays. So I would just put a small amount on. or if they are shampoos or conditioners, we'll have, to, um, we'll have to mix that with some Vaseline so it's not too much irritation on your back. So I would put a little in here, and then mix it with the Vaseline. That is it, and then we'll just put them on your back. Okay, so I'm gonna demonstrate how I put on the patches. Um, like I said before, each strip has 10 allergens in it. For the average adult, we put on about 10 to 15 strips, and for children, it's about five to 10 strips. Um, so usually we like to have a clear back. We don't put the strips over any tattoos, um, and if a guy comes in with a hairy back, we do have to shave the back, or he can do it beforehand. So I will demonstrate how I put them on. That's it, and usually it covers the entire back, so be prepared to be all taped up um, to at least down to here. Okay, so now I'm gonna put on some tape so that it secures the patches on the back. If we left it alone, they would just fall off eventually. This is hypoallergenic tape, so it does not cause any irritation. Um, a lot of patients are concerned with that, um, but we've never had anyone have a severe rash from this tape.
that is about it, and then they will leave that on for 48 hours and come back in to take it off so we can draw on their back. Okay, so now I'm going to remove the patches. This is uh, the usually we put patches on Monday and they come off on Wednesday. So I'm going to um, take them off. They can hurt a little bit, but some patients enjoy it because it scratches the back. So we also tell patients to wear um, either dark shirt or something they don't care about because this purple marker can uh, uh, rub off on their clothes and ruin them. Um, we aren't sure that that it always comes out. number it so that we know where each patch is on Friday and so Dr. Yu can read the results. And that's it.